Hey guys, this week I'm making this lovely hat using a pattern put on Ravelry by Lindsay Ingram. I found it's a simple pattern, especially good for beginners, so let's see how I made this. So I used the higher higher interchangeable bamboo needles at 9mm on a 16 inch large cable. These are great tools as you can adapt them according to your project. Many different tips, many different cable sizes and you can mix and match how you want. So to set them up, just twist it on but not all the way and make sure you use your cable grip to tighten it and this will ensure as you're knitting it doesn't come undone. What I do have to say is I've been bad in this video. Don't hold it by the bamboo part, hold it by the metal and you're less likely to damage them. The other option is to use the cable key, pop it through the lifeline hole and give it a twist that way. Either of these are good ways to secure your tips onto your cable, just to make sure it doesn't come apart halfway through your project. So this yarn is called Summer Salts, it's by Countess Ablaze, they're a Manchester based indie dyer and they produce some gorgeous <laughs> yarns. Um, as you can see this is really thick, it's a super chunky yarn, it's really soft, the tones in it are gorgeous and the fact it's got these streaks of like glitter going through it, I love it. So let's get started on the hat. I cast on using the long tail cast on method, cast on 48 stitches. As you might be able to tell at the end of this little clip, I accidentally attached a larger cable size. Once I'd achieved the full cast on and double checked my stitches, I moved it over to the correct 16 inch cable and I was good to go. It's a simple knit two, p2 rib stitch for 14 rounds. To count my rounds, I use the panda clicks. Just a simple little stitch counter. I do get forgetful as I go around. It helps me and it does attach to your needles, which is very handy. I've just slowed it down a little bit to show you that I'm several rounds in. Thankfully for using my cable grip, this hasn't undone one bit. The first few times I used these needles, I thought not to use a cable grip, so I'll do it myself. And halfway through a project, the needles will be coming apart, so make sure you use them. If not, it just gets trickier the further along you go. What I find with these needles, compared to other circulars, is the cable isn't fixed, so it rotates with your work so it's easier on your wrists and you find it a lot smoother to knit with. You'll see me pulling the stitches along a few times, just to shimmy them up the bamboo, but I don't find that they catch where the cable meets a needle as much as other sets I have had previously. It makes for quicker knitting. Once you've completed the 14 rounds and rib stitch, as I am about to do, it's a simple stockinette stitch for the rest of the hat until you come to decrease later. This means knit every stitch. Usually when I use long tail cast on, I use that as my reference points for where my round starts. But the smarter way, which I am going to use from now because I'm quite far into the project, is the locking stitch markers. And they come in this cute little dumpling in a variety of different colors and styles. I've chosen the locking ones for this project. Just take the padlock, pop it on your stitch, and you're good to go. Every other round, I'll move it up to keep track. They're just helpful little tools, which if you haven't used, I suggest you give a whirl. Thank you. 
after 15 rows, I transferred my stitches from the circular needles to 9mm bamboo DPNs and followed the decrease stated in the pattern. It only took 5 rounds to decrease down to 8 stitches. I then used the higher higher puppy snips, just handy little keyring scissors, good for all yarn, to cut off the end and left enough so I could make up and sew up the hole. To sew up the hole I used our Darn It darning needle. You get a pack of three and if you're anything like me, you always lose these, so it's handy having three. They're slightly bent at the tip, so they're easy to pick up stitches. They're thick enough as well to work with all levels of yarn. Once you've done this, weave in your ends, and then you've got a lovely little hat didn't take me too long to make this. It was an easy enough knit and the mixture of the tools I used and the yarn wasn't a strain or a stress. Thank you Lindsay for the pattern. There's a link below that will take you to Ravelry for the pattern. Be sure to check out our website. We're on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, all the usual places. We want to see what you guys have been making with Higher Higher. So tag us in and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.